In today's video, we're taking a look at an all-new camera from RunCam. Now, this is called the RunCam Phoenix 2, and it has a half-inch sensor, which means it's going to be very great at low-light performance, for example, flying in the summer at dawn. Now, on their website, they're stating that this camera's latency is comparable to the RunCam Eagle. It is, but it is slightly faster as well. It's not a very static latency. First of all, let's take a look at some of the things they provide you with. One thing is you get the camera. Now this is a micro-sized camera, so keep that in mind. And it also takes five to 36 volts input for power, but I never recommend going over five volts because these cameras are usually much more susceptible to noise than video transmitters. So usually it's best to set them up on a five volt regulator. And if we get a closer look at the back here, they're still using that paper in order to reduce weight. The back is basically the PCB and the sensor would be connected right here. Then we have the middle housing along with a really great lens as they're stating. Now, as you can tell here, they provide us with the cable and it's really nice silicone as we expect. And they also give us an adapter here. Now this adapter is really great. For example, if your quadcopter doesn't take micro cameras, then this would step it up one level. So now it would be able to fit in that quadcopter. And I really like that. I really like when a camera gives you an adapter to go one size higher. So this is really nice in that perspective. Now, last time I checked, these had a $5 discount, but Banggood always says sale, but it was really a sale, like a $4, $5 dollar sale so i don't know if it's still on sale usual price is around 35 bucks if i remember correctly and it was around 29 ish dollars at the time so something i really like about this is the dimensions it's actually taking a lot less footprint than usual so we're taking about 19 millimeters of space right from the back all the way to the front now for the latency on this um it was not static so that's something to keep in mind uh this latency was fluctuating between i believe 13 milliseconds all the way up to 22, 23 milliseconds. I'll have those right here. With the LED turning off, usually we do see a spike in latency on most cameras out there. And it is also apparent in this one as well. The latency was spiking up to in the 30 millisecond range. But usually I like to go by with the LED turning on, but I test both of those in order for you to choose what you would like to use. So you have all this information, you can decide what to choose. Now I can't wait to test out the camera quality of this and I really do hope it's going to be great. Now and again, this is not meant for racers and they clearly mention that and that is, I'm really happy that they do and they acknowledge the fact that this is not one of the fastest cameras out there. So that's a huge plus in my opinion towards Runcam. I really like that they're being honest with this stuff. So it is a freestyle cam uh, or just a, you know, hobby cam. Like if you're just going to be chilling and not really looking into racing, this is going to be a really great camera, especially in the summer. If you're going to be flying when the sun starts to go down, this might be good, but don't take my word for it. I have to test it to let you know about that. But this is uh, as of what they're stating and uh, hopefully it's true. But at the end of the day, you make your own decision. I'm just giving you the latency here. And well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.